Let's talk about wise guys' hobbies. And a very, very discreet, yet very, very important online store that has come to my attention. These guys came out of nowhere this year. And I was, um, I had no knowledge of this until the spring of 2023. Um, my good friend Dan Moore told me about them in passing, uh, you know, in conversations. I said, hey, what, what, what is this? I, I kept on seeing their picture, their videos and pictures on Instagram, where I see a vast amount of classic model kits. And I'm talking about model kits from the 70s and 80s. And we're talking about Japanese model kits that are very, very hard to get or you have to wait until whatever company decides to reproduce, you know, reissue them. I mean, hell, who, know, who knows who has the, where the molds are for these. But these guys, these wise guys got these. And I'm, and it's just not a dozen or so, maybe a couple hundred. We're talking thousands, tens of thousands of these kits, of these classic kits that has reinvigorated my youth. And I had no idea what, what the hell these are. And Dan told me where these guys got these kits. And I... I said, dude, I, we, I need to make a pilgrimage over there to see this. And before we talk about it and we show this, let's talk about going all the way back to the beginning, before Wise Guys, before Gundam Planet or anime, Image Anime, before even Hobby Link Japan. We're going to go back to a time... When I was in my teens, maybe your early 20s, and I came across this article, GTC, also known as Galactic Trade Commission. This is a, a, a my, my, one of my Mecha Press magazines, which I will never give up, and but I, and this is actually technically the second time I've seen this because the first time I saw it was um, one of the issues of Starlog magazines. Back then, the only source of science fiction information that you can get, besides going to the movies or watching maybe some whatever is showing on TV, was going to uh, buying a magazine called Starlog. Sure, maybe a library will have something, but Every month there was a publication of Starlog Magazine until they stopped. I know they lasted for about, well, I think 13, 14 years. Then Mega Press came out and they had this. Now, <laughs> well, let's go with this. GTC sells a broader selection of sci fi scale models than any other distributor in North America. Send a $3 US, $3 uh, money order US for GTC's new 28 page illustrated catalog with over a thousand different models from Robotech, Star Trek, Galactica, Gundam, Thunderbird, Star Wars, Macross. The minute I saw Gundam or Robotech, it got me hooked. Got me hooked. I, I've had it, and let me just say, those 28 pages was like, was gold to me back then. Now, granted, I wasn't working, you know, I made about three or four bucks an hour. And for me, to, at, at that time, you know, those kits were expensive. I mean, I remember the, I remember the, um, the, the Robotech or Macross VF1 172nd scale, the Transformer one, that was like over $35. And $35 at that time was a lot of money. Now it's nothing, but back then it was a lot of money. And seeing all these kits, all these pictures of every every brand, I was like, oh my god, I wish I could get one of these. But as years pass, you forget about them. 
you, you know, you move on. And you move on to other things, and obviously, we're here now. But Wise Guys has a history with Galactic Trade Commission. A beautiful, uh, well, kind of a sad history. Um, the owner kept on buying all these old kits. And his house was filled to the brim of these kits. I can imagine a house, a house, not an apartment, a house filled with nothing but sci-fi kits, model kits. But as years pass, I guess the gentleman was not in the best of health and he could not take care of himself and, you know, it's kind of sad, but I guess the family, his family decided to help him out and of course to move on. He needed to get rid, you know, sell his house and use it for whatever medical expensive that he has to do. So in turn, he sold his house and the contents of his house to these guys, these wise guys. And now they have his entire stock of all these sci-fi kits. And it is amazing. I have to say, I went there. I kind of held my breath, and I must, I, I, I guess I spent a good couple of hours just looking, just looking at history, not model kits, history, history of my youth, history of all these kits that I remember seeing, that I always wanted to build, that I built, that I always wanted to get all over again, and try it one more time. It was, it was a joy. It was a complete and utter joy. And I want to share this joy with you guys. So. Let's go to the videotape. And let's look at these kits. We're in their warehouse right now. And by the way, I turned off the audio volume because uh, there was a lot of loud music and um, talking, things like that. I remember that the Gazette one, that kit from, from that series, um, those little power armored kits, I remember those. Oh my god, he has all of them. By the way, that packaging was from a box full of spare parts. Not spare parts, basically complete kits, but the boxes um, disintegrated due to wear and tear and water damage. Uh, look at this. The Valkyrie sets. There's a one. I think there was a one, one, 178 scale. All the little Valkyrie fighter ships and aircraft and just look at that. Oh my God. The original Robotech, obviously, because it's been rebranded. I think that's the one 100 scales that you can get, and you can. It's you know parts forming. Um, <laughs> there's the Aquila, but it's, I think it's referred to as the Macro. Um, and that, that was my first Robotech fighter that I purchased. I remember building that and I was like hooked on that. I didn't even paint it, but I loved it. Should have bought it, but meh. There's, of course, the Votums by um, SAK, I think it is. Don't, can't see the brand. Marsh Dog, of course. There it is. And that's the bigger scales. Here are the smaller scales. The smaller scales are really small. I'm surprised. Do we? No, I couldn't find Louie and, and, and whatever his name is. Um, oh, I remember, I remember the, the, the truck from Robotech line. The um, rec uh, there. Okay, look at this one. The two set pack, 172nd scale. That's kind of neat. I think there was a two set, uh, a two pack. Uh, oh, I remember guess from Zoltec. I think I remember there was a, a 172nd scale battle pod, but I, I can never find it in Robotech in that line. Uh, there's the original SDF-1. Okay. It's a big kit. Not as big as what we built last year. Or a couple of years ago. Uh, here's the little Robotech bases. He has the original base, but I, couldn't, I didn't see it. Now, here's some like standard fighter planes from different genres. D different brands, I mean. Some of these planes you will definitely see at, an, uh, at your hobby store. A local hobby store, or maybe at um, MosquitoCon. Um, 
but yeah, they're all sealed in this packaging, you know. Um, I think they are collaborating with other stores and whatever. These are uh, the Dungrum. These are smaller kits and come in very, you know, different types. It's all different type of Dungrums. Look at that. Those are really, really neat kits. Yeah, there's the cra the cra uh, crab gunner. I what I wanted again. Some helicopters there. So, and oh, the of course, machine Kruger. Look at all the machine Kruger kits. Obviously, these are old. I don't know if these are new or old, but I, I that has to be new because he did get some new kits. Um, but there's you know, I'm not. A, I don't follow um, the machine Kruger line. But uh, still, oh, that's a big kit right there. I know many people love that one. And, the, and these guys have it. I was surprised. Now, going to another area, here's all the Macross kits. And boy, do they have a lot of Macross kits. Look at all this. It's amazing. There's my monster that I just recently built. Pretty cool, isn't it? Uh... Hama Hama. I remember getting that one. That was a classic kit that I remember getting. I don't have that anymore. Um, Argus. Not the, not the um, gray and, and brown, but the light blue version. Um, Yamato kits. All the mini. You know what? They have. They have all the Yamato kits here. But let me say this. You'll see a lot of doubles because a lot of model kits were reprinted on a different brand and oh lensman these are all the lensman kits uh, a bit this dusty there's a lot of boxes of dusty but uh, like i said you'll you'll find like it, you'll find like three of the same model kits by, th by three brands because they'll either be reprinted or you know purchased by another company uh but look yeah you have this you know ari there's ari right there there's all my yamato kits the the Spartan, I think that's already right because I think I have I have the Bandai version of the reprint of that. That's the Rifleman. If anybody wants to start getting into uh, Mech Warrior, uh, there's the Armored Valkyrie. Don't know how well it is compared to the new ones. Okay, here's some Southern Cross. They have all the Southern Cross there. There's the SDF one, uh, but of course, in in its mecha mode. Here are the diorama from Macross, which is a bit a weird off scale. You get a one one hundred scales, but you also get one seventy second scales, and it repr reprints like a forced perspective diorama. These are beautiful Macross kits with the beautiful box arts on them. The, the commander battle by the the Galg. If I've been pronouncing it right. Oh God. Seeing this, it, me holding it in my hand, I never held it in my hand. The Macross, uh, there's a Macross with a smaller scale. Again, beautiful box art. And look, look how many he has. How many. I, my first Macross kit was this one. The metallic version of the Spartan. Which I bought out of the hobby store. Um, when I was like maybe 15 years old. These are all like metallic. There's a Super Valkyrie right there. Um, now, this is from another brand that I'm, not, or another series I'm not part of. I know that that one's um, I I Ideon, but not a big, not familiar with this. Don't think I remember the, seeing the anime. Here's the other reprint line of of Macross by another comp by testers basically by testers. That's a beautiful strip, very nice. <clears throat> That's some amazing artwork. When you look at that, you you want to buy it. Those little two layer walkers. He has over over a hundred of those. I can't believe them. I always did like this this uh, this catamaran like ship from Ideon. And of course, you can buy the Ideon uh, Mecha 
in its own different pieces and assemble it into one. Get a weird bad guy robot type thing. Um, this one is... I, you know, it's that mecha thing that you need through all three kits to turn it into one. Um, this one's a really, really unique kit, really model, uh, from, I think from IDN also. I gotta watch this series. More Yamato mini mini kits right there. Here's IDN in smaller scale. I, I, <clears throat> I remember seeing a lot. I remember getting that kit. I remember building and getting it. It was like a small little fighter set. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that one actually was from an animated movie. Um, my God, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Technobots, I think it was called. No, not Technobots. Something Technocop, I think it was referred to as. Yeah, that, I remember that tank. It's a beautiful tank. I know somebody who built that. I told her to bring it to the Mosquito Con. She didn't bring it. Um, amazing. Look at all that. Crazy. This is a tripod tank from, I believe, Yamato. Maybe the Bola Wars. Dark N and Nebula Empire. Those are, that's actually a great model kit if you want to make a... Um, like your own World of Worlds kit. I have that fighter, remember then? And of course, if you want the uh, the Yamato itself, the classic one, there it is. I don't know what scale it is. I'm moving the camera too fast, so I apologize. Oh, the cutaway version of the uh, Yamato. I think that's one, yeah, one 700 scale. So if you want to do the detail on that, that's great. And he has them all. <clears throat> he has some armor. Not too much armor, but he has a lot. He has some classic battleships and, and aircraft carriers. Um, I saw the Akagi for like 1488 scale. Um, Zambul, Zambuli? I can never pronounce that right. All the MSV kits. Look at that. Gundam Lady. There we go. I know Dan. I think Dan bought that. Um, I have that kit, the um, GM Sniper Custom, but the that kit, and even though I have the Master Grade version. Uh, here are more Yamato kits and the Gundam kits. Actually, no, that's actually Gund all Gundam kits right there. Because there's the ship. No, that's Yamato. Sorry. I'm just moving too fast there. Um, I remember that big ship. I, have, I think I had the smaller one. Um, of course, some. Some Thunderbirds, if you're interested in the Thunderbirds, he has that. He has a, a one high scale Gale Goog. Some Star Wars. Star Trek and Star Wars right there. There's some uh, Zeta Gundam kids. There's Psycho Gundam. Uh, let's see here. Here's, some, here's more Zeta kids right there. There's That's my original Zeta Gundam. The first one that I purchased from them. Not them them, but, you know, when I purchased it back then in the day. Um, Charles Counter Attack kits, I remember, F-90. Then the F-90 kits. I didn't think I saw F-91. Rick Diaz. They also started selling some new kits, like I saw Witch of Mercury kits. Oh, that's Blue Noah. I always liked the Blue Noah design kit, because it was a new ship for me to see. But I'm surprised that they, you know, nobody has reissued the blue, not a reissue, but do a new one, like a re, a redo, a redesign of it. They also sell trains, as you can see there. Oh, there's Galveon. Um, that's kind of neat. Some more classic kits. They do also RC kits as well. Um, that's some nice little mini kits right there. I was also thinking of getting a 144 fighter kit, but I didn't see anything that caught my attention. Here's the the um, the other Galveon um, kit, which is basically a car version, and then we have, of course, um, oh god, Mospeda. They had a lot of Mospeda kits in there. The armored diver mode, of course. The fighter mode is around there somewhere. Uh, okay, this I have never seen before. This is, and they told me that this was an. 
this is basically their version of 30 minute mission line where it just like this came out of nowhere and they start building all these kits out of nowhere and they made one that looked like an ad at walker look at that it's not from no anime series whatsoever i think they this company was making it hoping that it was picked up by some animation studio and then they say okay we got the model kits you make the anime but it never you know it never came to be but those are crazy kits i was like surprised to see that there is the most better fighters more more macros um well okay yeah that is macros right there the um the figure character uh then this one also i don't i don't know where that, i think that, that's from argus that's still from argus lin min may and lisa hayes of course if you want to paint them more star trek kits there's more argus kits the the weird vehicle mode there's another battle pod as you could see they, they just they make metal pods like crazy there is a uh oh yeah i i was thinking of getting that i don't know why i didn't Look, another another version of this, of of the uh, macros, of the SDF one. There's the uh, there's of course the it's referred to as the Legius, the Legionus, but if you buy uh, um, monogram, did a reissue of it, um, and under the under the uh, Gobot line, which is crazy to see that. Here, okay, you can get the Orgus missile gun. Or the Macross missile gun, uh, gun pod, which fires BBs. Oh, and that, that's a big fighter right there, 170 seconds ago. Yeah, 170 seconds ago, um, ball be right there. And you have a, and then of course you have the force set right there, which is strange, a force set. I don't know if that's actually four kits in one, but there's they're small. Okay. Here's some Battlestar Galactica. I saw Buck Rogers, there's some ships there. There's some more Macross kits here. MSV, there's Zeta Z Gundam. I had that one. That was I had that one a long time ago. See another brand of the Valkyrie. Here is another version of the of the battle pod go commander type but in metallic mode they have a lot of these metallic version of these kits and they're expensive too very expensive the minerva and the cordova i have the cordova cordova one but the the updated version that i believe hasakawa made yeah the minerva is a beautiful kit even the even the old versions are so beautiful there's more, um, I believe that's Mac, uh, no, that's Yamato. Yeah, another version of the, of the aircraft under a different mold brand. There's a Yamato. I think that's the Yamato where it just, it, his, it, the front part of the ship is huge. And, you know, if you look at it from the front, you see that big bulb thing. So that's kind of neat to see that. It's a novelty. These are from Crusher Joe, of course. We just saw them a moment ago. There's a... Um, um, uh, Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbirds. There it is. There's the GoBot version. I'm sorry, I didn't focus it quickly. Uh, these are some Bulgan kits, but a smaller version. Rick Diaz again. Uh, there's a bigger version of the Rick Diaz. There's the weapon reset from the Zeta, uh, Zeta gun. Look how big that Rick Diaz is. I don't know how big it is. I think it, it is it 1 100 scale? Then maybe it went too fast. I think it is 1 100 scale. I don't think they made a 160 scale to that. Here are all the RC cars and trains that they do. I have a lot of these. And there's Dan looking at something. These are pewter metal type ships. They're different versions. That box art is, is the same box art for everything, but they're different ships. It's from a, a no longer existing company that did all these, uh, you know, for tabletop gaming um that tabletop series is no longer existence but they have a different version of these and i said you guys gotta move these um again more macros kits and mini mini versions um god i don't know what that is that was weird and uh gobots with the gobot model kits right there 
Zeta Gundam, Zeta Z Gundam right there. There's some ships again, actually from the flip side. And there you go. There's all the Z there's um, S um, Sentinel Gundam, and that is it. That is it. Amazing, amazing history that you yeah I just saw right there. Unbelievable history. Well, <clears throat> so clearly I did not leave Wise Guys Hobbies empty-handed. I got a, mm, a, a lot of kits here. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. So first of all, they had that um, bin where they had all the packaging of all the kits that was, you know, the boxes got destroyed. And they were selling it for a dollar, so... I got these two. These are two Yamato kits. So, I got them for a dollar each. But I also got... This Valgrave. Uh, the Girl Walk. One... I believe this is 170 seconds scale. It could be wrong. Or it could be 1 100. But whatever the case... It is... Uh, I always wanted to get one of these. So I got one... I got these. But, starting from the smallest to the biggest, let me show you what I got. So I got this Crusher Joe uh, Pirate Missile Frigate. I, I, I had, I believe I had, uh, well, it doesn't have a picture of those. But there was another ship uh, from that series. It was like a, like a, like a, an assault, like a, it's like an assault frigate, not this missile frigate. But I kind of like this one. And, uh, anyway. Pick this up. I got the crab gunner. Now that uh, I was wanted to get this, but the bigger scale one, but this small one should not should be okay. Um, yeah, that's actually a really nice one. And then I got the battle pod missile small small missile regolt. Uh, don't know what brand it is. Um, and you only get... You only get one. And you have a choice between, I guess, the... He um, no, it's actually the same missile. So this is the micro-missile one, not the heavy missile one. But that's fine. I got this. And I also got... Um, Regal Scout. Then going to a bigger scale, I decided to get this guy, the Ostal. One thirty seconds ago from Crusher Joe. This was the precursor to the another mech that maybe some people know from Battletech called the Lotus. I've been lately playing Battletech on uh, Battletech. Uh, my PC, which is that uh, turn-based strategy game. Uh, I've been watching Black Pants Legion's videos for crazy, you know, for a long time that I decided to end up playing the game. I, I have it. I just stopped playing it, but I started replaying it again and maybe going to start getting some of the um, updates and DLCs, but this was, uh, this is the, you know, where it came from. And this is a 132nd scale. So that's neat. Got that. Now, going for bigger boxes here. I really like this helicopter. The Dewey Kalanis MP2 from um, the Gurum. Uh, 170 second scale. Clearly um, an interesting variant of the um, Cobra helicopter. Um, under, there's a chain gun down there and the missile pods and all their rockets and things like that. But yeah, Let's see how this plays out when I bolt this guy. Uh, I got the Mac Cross SDF 1 Cruiser Fortress. This is 1 8000 scale, obviously. 
supposedly half the scale size as the 1 4000 scale kit that I made. Is it 1 4000? I, I love the box art. This is a beautiful, beautiful box art. You can't go wrong with that. And of course, getting this, I also got um, this Entrati, um battle cruiser or command ship. Don't know how you pronounce that. Um, Berlit Wa Watch it. Berlita Watch it. That's his Entrati cruiser. Yeah. And it comes with this guy in a smaller scale because it's this thing is um, supposedly 120,000 scale. Imagine if they made a one. Well, hold on a second. They can't make a one 4,000 scale on this to simulate the one that just came out that Kasagawa made. So it would have to be half that size so it could be at least usable or buildable. And just so you understand. That's the SDF-1, and remember I built one that was uh, one, uh, one 4,000 scale, so it was like around maybe this big, so yeah, you can see how huge this thing is. I don't think we'll see a model kit at one, at one 4,000 scale, maybe one 10,000, maybe one eight, maybe, no, um, yeah, or maybe one 800, uh, I don't know, we don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm just talking and speculating ideas. Uh, the next kit I got was something that I have been looking for for a long time. Zeta Gundam, the original 144 scale. This was technically my first Gundam. A Japanese version, of course. Yeah, I never had. There was never American version, but this was my first, and I really liked it. I, I, now that I have the original, now that I have the high grade. Uh, Zeta and the Master Grade uh, uh, version Kotoki. I think the summer of 2024 will be the summer of Zeta. We did the summer of Freedom. Next year will be the summer of Zeta. So I'll prepare this for that for next year. Uh, and then I I I said this, I got to get this because this is actually a beautiful beautiful ship, the Minerva. One five hundred scale. One five hundred scale for the Nerva Minerva. So it'll probably go in line with my Yamada one five hundred scale. But yeah, this is a beautiful ship. Nice and sleek. Very well detailed for its size and scale. Yeah, I I, I love it. I know there's an updated version of this, but you know what? I like I like to go back to the classics. Yeah. And the last thing I got, which is something that I've been hoping to get for a long time. Tactical Battle Pod. Or the Gaug. 1 100 scale. This is not 172nd scale because it would be, you know, too big and too expensive to get. It would have been nice to get something like that, but they never made it. So, yeah, I finally got this kit. So there you have it. Let me put this here in here so everybody can see what I got. Quite a bit of a collection here, you could say. Yeah. Okay, I think now I'm done. Maybe, who knows? My desire of getting older kits has been fulfilled. Um, I've seen one or two that I was actually thinking of getting, but I didn't have enough funds or desire or anything like that. Granted, um, I uh, there was a du d another Dugram kit that I wanted to get. No, unfortunately, they didn't happen. But that's okay. 
um, I'll, I'll send them a message and things like that. Um, got old Gundam kits, you know, I already got one old one. But there's no other old ones that actually appeals to my taste at this moment. I'm more I'm, I'm more focusing on like you know the old Macross kits, the old uh, um, uh, maybe two grown kits. Um, was thinking of getting one of the Techno Police um, kits out of the tank, but I'm I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm going to be doing that. I think I'm I'm actually fine with what I got right now and now that I built I got the two uh, battle pods I hope to finish up my diorama build of the map of, of my math cross project which I got to kickstart that again I haven't done any work on that lately I want to get that done for next year but I would like to thank first Dan Moore for taking me I would like to thank Wise guys' hobbies, especially the young gentleman by the way, his name is Vic. He was very kind and, and, and courteous and explained to me the whole system that they were going through right now. Um, they they are they're they're really really good guys. They treat you guys well, and their prices are fair and reasonable, very very reasonable, especially now you know because usually some of these kits you find it in another place. You're talking a little bit more money than you you can bargain for, but still, it's actually very good. So, I'm gonna link the um, eBay page on this on this video. So kindly click on them and support them. Tell them I sent you guys, and they always have some sales or some specials. Obviously, the holidays are here, so you may see some other spell uh, sale coming soon. But uh, yeah, the, the you know I'm I'm very happy to get that, and you know what we may see them next year in MosquitoCon. Who knows? I don't know. I can't be 100% sure. Things could change here and there, but still, that's a possibility. And uh, I hope you guys can continue to support Wise Guys Hobbies. Um, I trust them, and uh, you know. Don't worry, we're going to be seeing a lot more of these kits in the near future because they said they got a, a tremendous stock. You guys seen my video. I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. We can say, but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.